Hi guys, it's Candace from Beacon Hill Books. This is the current state of affairs I am at. Um, but it's just been so long since I posted a video. I really wanted to just, just pop in and say hello. And um, for all the new subscribers, apologize that right now it's just a, a difficult time for me to post videos. Um, we uh, definitely had our baby and now... Um, very tired. Um, she is amazing and wonderful. She's not in the room right now. I will uh, try and have her make a guest appearance, but um, I just wanted to give you guys all a quick update of what I've been blearily reading in the middle of the night and uh, currently reading. Um, I did finish a few books for middle grade March, um, one which was The Secret Garden by uh, Frances Hodges, Hodges Burnett, I think that's the author, um, which I really, really loved. Uh, I never read that book. I think I read The Little Princess, but now I want to reread that book. Um, it was just really cool, I think, a little ahead of its time and amazing because I also read um, The Girl Who drink the moon by Kelly Barnhill and to compare the secret garden with that one they both talk a lot about magic capital M magic and to become in magic and the difference of how they were handled and I feel like I really like how Burnett spoke of being magic um and really played on the idea of being a positive person and how you view yourself in the world as um, a positive thing, therefore you will make good things happen to you. And that's kind of achievable and attainable magic. And uh, I love that as a message to young kids. So I was really impressed with that. I have to watch the movie. And like I said, um, The Girl Who Drank the Moon, uh, I think that's the title. Oh, gosh. Um, I I liked the book. It was, I thought in a lot of times, possibly even more advanced than middle grade. I think middle graders would read it, but there are some things that might go above their heads, possibly. It definitely had readability for an adult. I just felt that the story sort of dragged at a lot of points. A lot of parts. I liked the characters a lot, especially the good quote good guys, um, the dragons, the the girl Luna, the witch, um, the boy that helps uh, the whole story. So, really, uh, I, I ended up giving that like a three and a half star uh, rating. Um, the book that I finished right before I went into labor was Night Shadow by Sebastian de Castell, and. I gave this book five stars. I just don't know. There's nothing really for me to dislike about these books. I mean, the torture scenes are very difficult to read, but it's just so enjoyable and it comes at such a fast pace. Cheryl and I, buddy, read this and there, there's multiple twists too. Like he just keeps it so fresh and you on your toes. And I love the new characters he brought in. The female characters were amazing. Um, I just can't wait to read the next one. So I'm very, very pleased with that series. Hopefully we'll get to the third one soon. I read Jane Steele before that, which is um, by Lindsay Faye, I believe, and really found a new author that I liked her writing. Um, this is another Jane Eyre retelling. I can't believe I've been reading so many. It's not intentional. Um, but I really liked it, especially the first half of the book before she goes to, um, her old house, returns to her old house. Um, then the story bogged down for me a little bit there, but I really, really love, um, the beginning part and want to definitely read more of Faye's books. Um, she also plays with good versus evil and the gray in between. And I guess, I mean, if you like Jane Eyre, I just don't know how you, you can't check out this book. I'm currently reading um, a few books. One which is The Parking Lot Attendant um, by Nafkote 
uh, I forget his last name, and I'm not posting any pictures because I can't edit this, but I'm loving it. Um, I saw this on Rinsey Reads. Um, channel about what was coming out and I knew that it was based two places one in Ethiopia and one in Boston so I definitely wanted to check it out and I don't want to put it down it's a really good story about a younger girl who's kind of got this sort of mafia type fellow from Ethiopia um, who is the parking lot attendant on a pedestal um, there's quite an age gap between the two and her father is very annoyed slash concerned that they are spending a lot of time together. Um, also reading the Read Around the World book club pick for this month, which is Claire, The Light of the Moon or something like that. Um, and I'm almost done with it. It's been uh, one of those books that I, once I start reading and get a good 20 pages in, I'll enjoy it, but I'm not like inspired to pick it up. Um, it really goes through a small town in Haiti and talks about all of the different characters there and what's going on in their lives. And I'm not sure if it's just because I've been reading a lot of fast-paced novels. I'm just, I like, you know, I like learning about characters usually, so I'm not sure why I'm just not digging, like, just not enjoying it as much as I had hoped I would, but um, I should be finishing that shortly. And then one other middle grade March book that I'm kind of reading on the side in between is Harriet the Spy. That's a reread for me. It was one of my favorites when I was little, and it is really funny to read it. And um, what a little spunky slash pisser of a... <laughs> of a kid Harriet Welch it was um I loved the journal entries of it when I was a kid and I loved um her spying but it's been amazing to read it as an adult and see some of it is some of it is a little outdated and um her relationship with old golly which is like her the person that's bringing her up um is an amazing part that I didn't even remember so Anyways, hope that you guys are all doing well. Sorry for this very informal and exhausted video chat, but I'm still watching all the videos. Uh, I, that is something I can do, and I'm really enjoying all of the March Mystery Madness and middle grade reading. I wish I could be reading more mysteries, but at the moment it's just not happening. Um, so yeah, I will be hopefully back soon. Um, but I'm just wanting to let you guys all know I'm still alive and all is well. I'll be talking to you soon. Thanks. Bye.